Choose your fighter. Lightning inspired. Hello. Hello. We are back. Get into the game, Casey. Or at least I'm back. This. You've been you've been doing this for a few days now. A few days. I've streamed four days straight now. Uh, three days after this, because well, you're taking your your vacation. Yeah, but except for today. Yeah, vacation, but I'm doing schoolwork. Yeah, you ready for this? It is. Yeah. So last time we actually defeated the main game. Um. So now it's just a side quest. Not day. true. We still have post game. Post game, right? Morning, Benavu. So the space-time rift is gone. The space butthole has been cleared. I think this means we can finally close the book on this whole mess. Well, in any case, there's one book we can't close yet. The Pokédex. Time to get back to your official survey corpse duty of completing it. I love how no one asked me, just like, how do you feel that you can never go back home? Yeah, how do fuck you, it. How do you feel about that? Yeah, fuck it. I guess, I don't know. Is it is it be, Is it better being here and being worshipped like a god? Than going back home where you're just someone who catches Pokemon. We're gonna meet the Survey Corp uh, in the Survey Corp's office to discuss how we'll tackle the work that's left. See you there, Benavu. Yeah, we'll pro progress this to a certain point. I'll let you know when, and then we'll do side quests. New days dawns, dawns, dawn, dawn, dawns. No, it's the same thing as I, as I was. Get on in there, Casey. What are you? What are, they, what are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? Oh shit. Casey, just, what are you doing? I just wanted to get rid of my mud ball. Oh my god. Oh, candy truffle. Get on in there. God, I'm gonna have to... Hmm. Turn up the brightness. Yeah. Here we go. Okay, go talk to the people. Don't worry about side quests right now, just talk to them. So, I trust you enjoy yourself at the festival. Fucking better have. <laughs> I, I put this all together within 10 minutes. Indeed. It only seems natural given the crowd. I believe last night was the oh, first that's time me. I caught. No. It's me. Okay, it's me. Nope. It's me. It's me. I believe last night was the first time I've caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. Making merry. Making merry. Celine is just. That's the first time anyone's seen her high as fuck. I, I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Leventon, to business. What is the current state of progress on the Pokédex? 25%. I just say we've made quite significant progress, all in all. 25%. And we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. Do you think he's the reason why the Pokédex just says random shit? No. In Pokémon? No, it's canonical. There is an actual person that does that. And of course, it is hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokemon have only been mentioned in his series legend. After all, who knows if they are even real? So we made it up. Yeah, we're still relatively new to these parts. How, how are we to know what's true and what's not? Bodden couldn't help but over here. Oh. He just shows up. It, if it's Hesuian legend, or history and legends you want, then I'm your man. spent plenty of time studying such things that instead of <clears throat> i mean while also tirelessly doing my work from the ginkgo guild instead of working my job i've been doing my hobbies i mean i've been doing both I, he's a spy and i've visited many of the ruins but not here in the history region already i imagine i could teach you a thing or two about any pokemon legend in these parts Oh, murder to my ears, good my good fellow. 
Listen well, Benavu. You are to learn all you can. From the merchant Volon, we're together as needed, for the sake of the Pokédex. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokémon by other means. Understood. I'll set up a height at the Heights camp then. Benavu, I'll be expecting you. Yay! Post games hanging out with Volo, okay, sir. Your favorite character. It's not that I hate him or anything, he's just sus as hell. Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you too. I so I hope you keep, won't keep me waiting. Okay, now we can do side quests. We can we can pause on meeting Bolo for now. Oh my goodness, you have two pages worth of things. Yeah, we can just skip through all that because we're gonna be talking to the people anyways. Bam, grab them all. So many side quests. Hey, you are the one who accepted my request. Well, then let's get right to business. Uh, let's get down. I, sir, let's I don't business. even know which one your request was. There's no tell that long told been long that's long been told in the Sui region about a dark nightmare that visits people on lonely pa paths at night. I never put in any stock in it myself until I saw it. So he's talking about a drift bloom? Sure. I saw a terrifying black Pokemon just like the one in the stories. They say that people who are trapped in the nightmares it creates never wake again. Wait, okay. There is an actual Pokemon who does that. I forget which one though. There's an entire movie about it. Okay. I can't we can't wait for someone to fall victim to it. We've got to act before that can happen. I saw it near the Clamor Claw, Clamor Claw Cliffs, part way up Mount Coronet. And it was when I was out walking alone at night, just like the old stories that all, all say. Haunter! Be careful if you go in search of it. I wouldn't want you to lose your life over this. But I do want you to go out there and get it. Yes. But I don't want you to lose your life. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Casey. What you should do is go into your mystery gifts. We're connected to the internet, right? I don't know. Mystery gifts. Well, I'm saying we're not in airplane mode, right? Shouldn't be, right? Uh -huh. go, go to go to get via internet. I want to see if you, you can. Closing gift. Yes. Can't get that oh, thing. That's not the one. I need to see how to get this one. Give me a second. I know there is one you should be getting. All Pokemon will obey you. So I like to see. Who was it? You're that talented Survey Corps member I keep hearing about, right? I have a favor to ask of you. You know Obaro Tunnel, yeah? The tunnel with near Obsidian Falls? Hoping to dig into the tunnel walls to see if I can find any good stones there, but the Pokemon's been raging about and getting in my way. It's more than I can handle. You think you can calm it down for me? You think you can calm it down? Thanks a ton. Please head to the tunnel once you're ready to calm down that Pokemon. Oh, go to the mirror inside your house. I guess it should already be in your thing. Okay. So after okay. after doing these side quests, we'll go in your house. Yeah. There's the girl I was hoping for. Wanda's constant savior, Benavu. Oh, fuck off. I'm afraid the day has finally come. This time Wanda couldn't even find her way back from the obsidian field lens right on her own doorstep. Is she, like, okay? Does she have a head injury that no one's acknowledging? Uh... It's practically our, it's practically our own backyard, right? She should know her way around, so I'm worried that something happened to her. I feel like he purposely drops her off to like, I don't know, try to ditch her. But like, then why does he hire? Die? Why does he hire you to get her then? I don't know. I'd really appreciate some help from you and your that Ursluna. Use the scent from Wanda's raggedy old handkerchief and search her out for me. 
want us to be somewhere in, out there in the obsidian field lens. Find her for me, please. Yay! Yeah. We're gonna help walk again. I can't wait to find Mikario. her again! Oh, what? You can talk? Huh? No matter, Lucario. Is it? Yes. I have an alpha Lucario. Hey, remember the guy in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Casey? That's him. Oh yeah, That's I Zan like that. I like that guy. Ancestor, and he's also and I'm Rai. Um, him. Uh, the guy in Brilliant Diamond. They're all. They're actually both references and based off of the character in the movie, from the mo movie Lucario and the Mystery Moo. Uh, you say yeah, that Sir like Orin. I know who that is. Yeah. I wouldn't mind getting like if we. If, when we move and we get like a different uh, shelving set, I wouldn't mind a Lucario statue. Yeah. I really like Lucario. And you are. I'll just. That'll be my cosplay. Yeah. And you are. Okay, you're Benavu. Nice to meet you. Caro? What is it, Lucario? Caro? Seems Lucario sensed your strong aura too. My aura, my spiritual feeling sphere. No skills. No skills. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the... <laughs> could you come to the training grounds? Yeah, you gotta fight him. Okay, I'll battle his Lucario with my Alpha Lucario. Steely Lucario. Yeah, yeah, I remember check upstairs and downstairs just to make sure. I remember I liked Rai. Shoo. Shoo. If it isn't one of our beloved customers, might I have trouble? I have trouble with you to help me with a little survey work. In my family, we've always passed down tales of some ancestor that lived in a village around the avalanche slopes, but have never been able to find any hint. Of such a settlement ever existing. I'm beginning to doubt the tales are true. But everyone wants to know about where they come from, don't they? To help me out. See if you can find any evidence people haven't lived around the avalanche. Wait, hold on. People I thought. currently live there. Yeah, I. What? The Diamond Clan? The, the Diamond Clan lives there. Arita has been here multiple times. Fucking dumbass. And she's part of the Pearl Clan, not the Diamond Clan. All right, Adamant is part of the Diamond Clan. We are going to work on our cosplay soon. We have a lot of things. By June, we got to start working by June. We also have to do other things by June. Oh. Right on that receipt. No, 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 no. Right on that receipt. Talk. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, search it. Uh, really quickly, before, what were we going to do? We were going to go... No, don't talk to her. There's something else we were going to do before we did anything else. Oh, go to your house. That's what it was. We were going to go to your house really quick. Yes, that's what we were going to do. And then we can pick up the rest of the side quests. Do your house and talk to the mirror. Talk to the mirror. Okay, now I think... Five I principles. I don't care. Hmm. We go back. All right. Yeah. Maybe it's in their glasses. Hmm. Mm. I do think. Oh wait. I'm gonna change my outfit. Cause I'm no longer a business woman. I am now a god. Peace. Hmm. Oh, there's the beedoo. 
Not the one I was looking for, though. Have you ever tried this code? Okay, go back to your mystery guest really quick. Oh, hang on. Uh. I can't go out with a bad outfit. You're almost. Out, you're also out of money, Casey. Yeah. Yes, because you spend it all on pokeballs instead of crafting them. Yeah. Oh, this looks kind of cool. I've only had the money for it. Go to your mystery gifts. No, no, mystery gifts. Okay, I want you to put, to put a code in. Yes. Yes. Battery runs out. Or fine. You, just... you can't run out. It's plugged into the wall. What if it runs out? Okay. Ph X for your help. Why? Why zero? You are. Why are you saying it like that? Because this is your help, and you had to look at how to spell your help. Well, it's a code. I don't know if it was. Help. I don't know if it's spelled. Help. I don't know if it's spelled. What is stop? I don't know if it's spelled like you are or if it's no, actually. That's spelled. why I specifically just said, "Hey, just type this," because it was obvious. It's not the normal way. If it no, works. It, no, it isn't. You spell it with a zero. Because there's no. Oh, it's expired. Okay. That's not the one I was like. change my outfit. Hmm. While you're looking that up, I'm gonna get the remaining side quest. Okay. Hmm, no, that's not right either. It needs an extra special extra something, but what? Oh, nice timing as always. Oh. I can use your help again coming up with some new hairstyles. I've hit another wall here. I bet I could get it. Uh, inspiration from a different Pokemon this time. A Pokemon like Curlia. I can't remember how it looks exactly, but I'm pretty sure it has a real distinct style. I could study up one up nice and close. I bet it'd get me past this block. I managed to catch a Curlia. Bring it here so I can have a look, okay? Need Curlia. Do I have one? I wouldn't doubt it. No, I don't. Okay, we need to save data on this oh, you have to talk to the clothier i guess the clothes person <laughs> next quest you see that what when i like approach they're all like <laughs> all their heads were just like <laughs> i didn't see that that was creepy. I didn't see that at all. You're, you must be seeing things, Casey. Well, watch the vlog. What? No, what? I'm not going to do that, Casey. Watch the. I'll just show you it after this. No, I have. I am busy. I have things to do in my life. 
Yeah? Yeah, I actually have a lot of things to do today, Casey. I don't They can't watch two seconds of them uh, going like... Nope. It's you. I'm telling you, Burmy is the Pokemon with the cloak made of leaves. No, Burmy. Cloaks are made of minerals like sand and rock. I'm quite sure of it. <laughs> if it ain't covered in trash, it ain't a Burmy. <laughs> this conversation is getting us nowhere. Are you both sure you actually seen a Burmy before? It wasn't some other Pokemon. I might ask you the same thing. I've seen Burmy here in Isui, and I've seen him back in my own region too. And guess what? What? No. They're all covered in trash. No. Oh my, you must have gotten confused somehow, my dear. Please, both of you, we're just repeating the same arguments over and over at this point. Hey, you're from the Survey Corps, aren't you? We could we could figure out um, we could figure out the which we could figure out which of us is right pretty quick if someone brought us an actual Burmy. There we go. Uh, catch one and come and show it to us, would you? you need, so they're fighting, but all three of them are right. Do you have a Burmy? I'm assuming. Yeah, I have show it. it to them. Might as well just do it now. Do it now. You brought a Burmy to, to show us? You know, the Pokemon covered in leaves? Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to organize your Pokedex. Your, your past years. I'll do that. I'll do that next time. No, that's fine. I'll do it before next time. This isn't the Burmy I'm familiar with. The Burmy is the Pokemon made of leaves. Once these two see it, they'll have to admit I was right all along. Talk to the lady and try to that. The rubber Burmy's covered in sand, Casey. The sand Burmy. The sand the Burmies. Take a good look, both of you. This little one is the real Burmy. Uh, I guess it looks pretty similar, but there's no way this is a Burmy. Yeah, I've got to agree. Where is its trash at, huh? I like trash. I'm the trash man. Honestly, how can someone still be in doubt after seeing a real Burmy right up close? Those will need to compare it to a false Burmy to prove the point. Can you carry on until you brought both the Burmy lookalikes these two spoke of, my dear? You need the other two Burmies now. You got the trash man. I need a pink Burmy and a green Burmy. Do you have either of those? That's another sand one. Two more sand ones. You only you have five sand Burmies, and that's it. Okay, it looks like you need to go catch two more Burmies. A sand one and a trash one. Oh, no, sorry, a plant one and a trash one. Okay, any other quests here? Ah, training grounds. Oh, that's the Lucario. Nope, it's a different one. Because it hasn't been accepted yet. Run! No, run. Run. No, run. No, no, Wait, hold on, no, why, run. why did I need a toxic croak here? To that's... break rocks. It's a fighting type. Oh, okay. He's a frog. He goes, Wah. He's a frog. Look, there's Lucario, but no, we're going to talk to her. I'm going to kick that Lucario's ass with my mega giant I'm Lucario. Fucking destroy it. <sighs> yeah, I would get um a statue of Umbreon and a statue of Lucario. We're going to become a Pokemon channel. Confirm. And then I want uh, a Snorlax couch. Confirm, PSU, we're actually going to become YouTubers. Oh, God. Well, I am a Pokemon expert. We only do Pokemon content. I am a Pokemon expert, Will. All right, Casey, we're only going to do Pokemon. Hello there, Benavu. You know, we have uh, an interesting member in the security corps. A secret weapon, if you will. They're a bit of a Pokemon battle. Master, in fact. Think I can trouble you to face our secret weapon in battle? Do it now. Give us a moment, then. Oh, I heard the news! There's gonna- There's to be a face-off between two masters. You know, I've heard our corpse secret weapon can even defeat alpha Pokemon. Oh my god, Then why so didn't they just- Why didn't they just get that person, then? Oh, you're, you're gonna go Everything's set. Come with me. I'm gonna go fight the secret weapon, guess who? Okay. Oh, fucking- the space-time god.
Here's our ace in the hole, Ress. The guy who's been in charge of the gate since the beginning of the game. Please, Captain Zizu. I'm just a common guardsman. However, so as long as I stand in defense of this gate, I have no intention of letting anyone defeat me. I mean, I guess that's I why- I will kill you. I mean, I guess that's why he's in charge of the gate. I'm not afraid to have blood on my hands. Here you go, Casey. Yuri Pokemon. Oh, and he calls himself a secret Go Vidu. Yeah, watch the fuck out, Casey. He's got fucking, he's got Bidu, dude. Not at just, what level? Not at just, it's a level 62 Bidu. Okay. Watch out, Casey. He also is the one that has the Mr. Mime. So you know he has a Mr. Mime as well. Just kick his ass with a flamethrower or some shit. It's a Bidu. Because I want the whole town to be afraid of me. I forgot, did you, did you put him in his origin form? Did you put the Alga in his origin form? I don't think so. You can. After you do a side quest, that is. The Beedoof is so strong. He's gonna kill you, Green Thief. Beedoof, Beedoof. Ice Beam. This Beedoof kills my Dialga. I'm gonna be Ice so. Beam. I'm gonna be so pissed. <laughs> See, he's done the same amount of damage. He's actually done more damage to you than you have to it. Hyper Potion. A true master, Casey. The roar of time. <laughs> fucking. That poor <laughs> Bidu was fucking obliterated, dude. Oh no, Mr. Mime. No, it's Shinx. Thanks. Play rough. You're weak to you're weak to fairy type moves. It survived. He's gonna kill you, Dialga. No. He missed. You... He missed. Are you kidding me? No. I'm. Adulting. Okay. It well, barely did any damage. He has one more Pokemon. It's not a Mr. Mime. I thought it was Mr. Mime. It's a Starly. It's a little 62 Starly, Casey. You're lucky Starly is actually the one weakest to you because it doesn't have anything to penetrate your steel typing. But he just did three attacks in a row and he killed your Dialga. Are you serious? Fucking obliterated, Casey. He just defeated the God of Time. Yeah, why did they send him up there? Yeah, Casey, he's a fucking legend, okay? With his three Pokemon. I'm about to end this God. man's whole career. You gotta be impressed though. Those are three bitch Pokemon. He's leveled them up so high they destroyed the God of Time. It broke through my defenses. I thought I could do better than that, seeing as how I'm a guardsman. But I am literally the god of this town. My dude. Well, he did his best. To be honest, he was forced into the battle. Not like he wanted to fight you. That's true. This was to be expected. Sitting out beyond the village and battling with so many different Pokemon in the course of your survey corpse work has made you very strong. Mr. Mime, you know, my first job as guardsman was catching some Bidoof that seemed intent on infiltrating the village. Since then, I've kept many Pokemon from passing through our gates. Sometimes I'd slip up and let some in. Goodness, would people let me have it, like Mr. Mime? But I also befriended some of the Pokemon, and before I knew it, we'd grown strong together. I gained so much, and all because I was trying to make sure folks could still uh, could live safely here. You know, I think this is just my thing. I don't like Mr. Mime, right? I, I hate that Pokemon. But I think it's just Pokemon within that color palette. Yeah. I think that's why I don't like Sylveon. It just, it looks strange to me. It's my job to keep everybody safe, isn't it? Now... There's one last thing I'd like to tell you. If you're heading outside the village again, stay safe out there, kid. And now I think it's better to get back. I better get back to work. You did it. I did it. Yeah, I did three it. Three grit rocks. Cool. Um. 
No, I think you, you, your thing is, Casey, you just don't like Pokemon that have somewhat brighter colors. Look at your team. Look at your team right now. Is there any, like, bright, bright colors? Well, that's not true. I like, um, I like Leafeon. Because I was, I was playing Pokemon Xenoverse, and every Pokemon, Casey doesn't, this is like a lot of the Pokemon look weird, which I say a lot of them look like Digimon, but she says a lot of them look weird, and I've noticed all the ones that she says look weird are the ones that are just like bright pinks and blues and. Well, that's not like I like Glaceon, I like Vaporeon, uh, Leafeon. I like the shiny Ponyta. Oh, you like Evolution. <laughs> Well, no, like, I like the shiny Ponitas. Okay, um... Well, hey, is there wait. any other quests? Is there any other quests here really quick? Never mind. Yeah. Shiny Bidu. Shiny Ponita. Ponita. I like Scyther. Are Scyther. you actually going through and looking at all the Pokemon? Yeah. Because it's not just, like, dark Pokemon, you know? I like these ones. I'm guessing that's gray. Yeah, I also like... I like Shellos, which is pink. I like Pikachu. Um... Okay. <laughs> Can we... <laughs> we could. We have a lot of things. We have a lot, Jason. You wanted to get done this stream? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. You mind this and these are just the requests in the village these aren't even all the requests in a general sense Tom Pokemon, there's all the ones man. there's also ones available throughout the world that you have to go pick up i know but first i'm gonna yeah, do this one over here but yeah i wouldn't say it's like i do gravitate towards darker colors obviously but it's just some color combinations i just don't like If anyone plays Pokemon Xenoverse, though, a lot of their custom Pokemon look like Digimon. I take it. You're ready. you're ready for battle? Now then, let's forgo the small talk and proceed right to battle. That's our style. Oh my god. Go, Lucario. Got this, Casey. You max out close combat to see if you can one shot it. Never mind. I thought you, you know, I, you know, you could just styled on it and did a strong style close combat. But I didn't. But you know, you're also ten levels higher than it. But I'm also bigger. You're ten levels higher than it. Oh, oh don't feel sad, Lucario. That was a wonderful battle. It seems we need to redo our training, Lucario. Yeah, you need to be an alpha. Not a beta. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon and that's helped make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Dealey Lucario, you got one more grit rock. Sorry. Yeah. I guess that's so funny. Fucking... Let's go to the Obsidian Fieldlands and go place to place. Just make sure we have all the quests really quick. Well, I just wanted to do... Uh... Which one? I just want to do stuff in the village first. Sure, okay. We go, we'll start at the to top and go down. Just so we can see. Because okay, so we got to talk to the people to make sure we get all their quests then. The final letter is like what, what we're actually doing. That's... I don't know. I think that... um, That's just so funny to me. Like, if you're in an argument and you unironically they're just like you're such a fucking beta that, I so think so fucking cringy dude it's cringy and I feel like I'm going to use it unironically and uh when I'm debating someone you know if that person's like making good points and I feel like I'm losing the argument I'll just be like yo you're a fucking beta Here with the survey corps, right? 
This is hey. quest is just talking to the old lady, so I'm just gonna... A time crow's decided to nest in my house. Do you think you can help me get it to move? What's to get rid of the chime echo? You gotta fucking kill it. What? It's not doing anything. Yeah, exactly. It... It made itself at home under the eaves before I even noticed. It seems mellow enough, but I'm not at ease with having a Pokemon so close. I've already spoken to some homeowners who'd be willing to let Chime Cho move in with them. Chime, Chime what is that? Huh? Chime Echo. You call it like a Chimarino. Chimarino? Yeah. A churro. <laughs> I'm gonna call it a churro, Will. <laughs> What I'd like you to do is have a look at the homes and make sure they'd be a good fit for, uh, Chimeco. Chimeco. It's not like I can tell Churro feels, so... The first place I'd like you to check is that farmer's house near the fields. Think you can find a nice place for Churro to hang there? Honestly, I thought I would hate Kuwabara because of his uh, voice, but I feel like I feel like what changed my mind is when um, he was like helping Keiko, like from getting jumped, and he's like, "Hey, like I know even though your Meshi's dead, you're still his girl, so I'ma help you out." That that's. That's some fucking bro. Yeah, that's like fucking bro code, I feel like. The wind direction seems to be bothering. Chime Cho. Team Cho. Chime Mecho. So it prefers to the way the wind blows around my house. I'd like it too. We got a good breeze. Well then, how about a hut by the sea? The ocean breeze is so refreshing. Yeah, so let's just get this Pokemon isolated and alone. Well, I, I, what pot are you using? I usually, I typically dry pots, um, with paper towels. Seems lonely since there's nobody around. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Oh, now I smell it. So, 
likes lively places. I always... It's always great to have some activity around. How about the training grounds? The security corps around that place is... So, I feel like this quest is gonna make me run all over the village just for it to stay at her house. And it's quest... And if that's the case, these are quests I generally just kind of... I don't hate them, but it's just like, why? This is just... <laughs> this is just so unnecessary. Is that your Chimeko? Why don't you come and train with us? Seems like Chimeko doesn't like to battle. For money? Yeah, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Chimeko doesn't like to be forcefully captured and then forced to fight? Yes. For quote unquote research? I will say though, I think Yu Yu Hakusho has like some of the best fucking music. Have you? I mean, you've heard their ending credit music. I guess it's only natural that some Pokemon don't like to battle. I'm sorry to scare you, Chimeko. Hunter. Oh, is it telling me not to worry about it? How about next door to me, then? It's hardly different at all from my place. I just had a chat with my neighbors, and they said they'd be fine with Chimeko hanging around. Pardon me. I know I just sent you chasing about looking for a good home for Chimeko, but I think I'd like to stay. This one? <laughs> Lee, why? You really helped me understand Chimeko a lot better. I think we can actually live together now. This is just. It... It dawned on me that hearing his adorable cry coming from under the eaves is part of my routine now. Going to live with me from now on? Yeah, fucking... Wasting my goddamn time. I got shit to do. I got like 30 other quests to do, lady. The completed Pokédex entry. I feel like... Oh. I need one, yeah. e how how to boil water. Step one, get water. Step two, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 I'm lost. Water in my hand. What do I do? I don't have anything, I don't have anything, I just have water in my hand. Have water in your hands, and then you just go like... I should make an e how Will. What can I help you with? Now where is it? I, I completely forgot. Oh, okay. This is one known as a trash cloak. 
It's living proof that there is that there is a truth of saying one person's trash is another plain one. So this is what I was supposed to get. Never knew pa Pokemon were capable of such things. Yes, I've got it. Also, how it? We don't want. I'm confused. How can it collect trash when it seems like, you know, when you think of trash, you think of like plastics and yeah. wrappings and stuff like but, that. But that's but, disgusting, and they can't do that in Pokemon, so they made pink. Well, no. I mean, it. well, no. What I'm saying is like, what kind of trash do they produce? Trash. They haven't made like plastic yet. Trash. Waste. Waste. But yeah. they use every. Broken pots, etc., anyway. etc., etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera like compost i think if you have a broken pot you just like melt it down and then try again okay that's not how that works casey you can't melt down broken pot you can't what? melt what? down what do you know about ceramics <laughs> ceramics are glass they're clay can't melt it down once it's fired and glossed I mean, you can oh, you break can. it yes you can break it <laughs> And turn it into a nice art piece. I'll be very pleased if you have another look at editions uh, of my clothing. Yeah, you have did money. it. You have new items in the store. <laughs> Only have, you had fucking money. I don't have money. Well, hey, new uh, new quest though. New, she gives you a new quest. I don't have Casey, money. she gives you a new quest. I know. Casey, get the quest from her. I know. Casey. Real quick. Casey. Real quick. I have to see if I did this quest. No. Octil okay, Octillery Ink. Do you have Octillery? Yeah, I think so. Do you have the, Give a nose pass? Catch, Catch a, a nose, nose pass and give it to Gully. What the fuck? Hey, you have a lot of quests, Casey. You should get the, this up. You should grab this one. We can worry about which one we're gonna do after. Get this quest first, Casey, because you could have already completed this quest. And then... Anyways. I just had a, um, <laughs> I just had a dizzy spell. So I'm trying not to move. Well, stop having those. Did you talk? Yeah. The color of your poke, uh, of your clothing can make all the difference in the world. Don't you think? We would have you drank any water today. I'm from a girl who only drinks brisk in Capri Sun. What are you talking about? I drink so much water. I just haven't drank any today. Absolutely. I bet you would like to dress up in your favorite color. I want to make, make clothing in new colors, but I can't get a hold of the right materials. If you happen to have any red shards, blue shards, and green shards, would you kind of give one to me of each? Luckily, you have those. You gotta get them from your uh, stash. I'll get you some water. I have water in the room. I... I don't think it's that, I just think, um, I haven't eaten. Or it could be the burning smell. Thank you. Jimmy, yeah, shards. Such beautiful shards. I'm sure these will work perfectly. Now then, try me. Let me try and dye something. Make anything into a beautiful dye if I hook it down into the trusty cauldron inside my shop. That's how that works. A color more beautiful than I imagine. All thanks to my. Dear customer, hope you enjoy the different looks that new colors bring to your outfits. Yay! I, I don't have any money. Yay! I'm so, I'm so sad, Will. Go to uh, yeah, talk to more people to open their quests up. Very uh, not that one, not that one, that one. No. It's in the Alabaster Eyes sense. Keep going. Traces. Go up. Okay, yeah, it's Ursuluna. It's not here. That one. Oh, no, this one's not here either, but this is the, the Lowland Vulpix one. It's not that one. Keep going. Not this one. 
and not that one okay we'll just go to the very top and go from there uh so then there'd be the nose pass one first yeah because the one above that is the just one the is the octillery the wisps the yeah. octillery octillery the wisps and the roselia is it or is it no cherim let me actually hang on do you have a 10 in, do you have a 10 in octillery let me check okay Octillery. You have four. Yeah, use hyper beam and hydro pump. They say about that kid, yeah. They say about that kid. Stop streaming for the day. I just can't hey, move. Is that my well, no, I, hey, I just don't. I just don't know what it is. Ah, good. I've been waiting for someone from the Survey Corps to come along. I want to gather crafting materials in Wayward Cave, but I realize I have a bit of a problem. My sense of direction is worse than useless. If there's a, there is no way you are as bad as that dude's sister. <laughs> you found your way here. That's good. Any chance at all of getting lost in the cave? You bet. That's what I'll, I'll do. But I know a way to keep myself from stumbling around in the dark forever. See, there's an old saying in my hometown, a nose pass never wanders. Since nose, nose pass always face the same direction, people from my village will look with Pokemon for guidance. When she is so much better than that dude's sister. And she's not even in a corpse. Like, in a corpse. But she's not even, like, part of a, like, a special guild or anything, you know? But little matter, I just need to find myself a nose pass before I find myself hopelessly lost. I'll check the direction it faces against my map, then navigate through the cave with ease. Look around for a nose pass too, but if you catch one before I do, could you give it to me? Oh, I already caught it. Find a nose pass for me. That's a nose pass, all right. Thanks for finding it. Now, as I understand it, this Pokemon giant nose always points in the same direction. So if it's facing this way, that means the exit must be over here. A nose pass never wanders. Indeed, I wish I had encountered this Pokemon sooner. I owe you a big thanks. It's such a relief to finally have a nose pass as a trusty guide. All the twists and turns of Wayward Cave can't stop me now. Yay. Let, now let's see if there's any, um... Yeah, uh... Oh. Uh... Thank goodness you passed by. Please, I need you to rescue my Sfeel. Adorable round body caused hill rolling down the hill and it's headed straight for the Stone Tooth Rose and Ravine. Those areas are full of dangerous Pokemon. 
Third my course member and everyone's talking about. Yeah, sure. I'll help. Oh, dude. Down. 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 There, get him. Thank you. What a little shit. What a little shit. Oh, it's just going towards the water. Honestly, this this feel is kind of reminding me of Itty Bitty when, um... Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know, Itty Bitty, uh... Whenever we call her for her to be fed, we'll walk towards her and she will just walk away from us. And just, like, go under the bed or something so we can't get her. Just like, dude, we're like trying to, <laughs> trying to help you. Oh my goodness, Phil, I can't believe you rolled all the way down here. You escorted Phil all this way, right? Thank you so much. Please meet me back at the summit camp. I'll thank you properly there. What's the, why? <laughs> Thanks, you. I was able to find Sfeel, and it's without a scratch, too. Oh, uh, where- where does Sfeel go? What a little shit! <laughs> this is- this is the perfect example of what it's like owning a cat. Oh, that's a wish. Get for me, crash for me, find it. Oh, mac and cheese. 
So do Woodoo. <laughs> got poisoned. Hi. Oh. How do I dive? Uh, X. Y. Ah, die, die! Go, 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 go! You're being a shaking creature for the uh, trash one. That's a hair cross. <laughs> that is a. That is a. <laughs> it is not a Burmy. Or is it? Casey's Pokemon permanently went leading them. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Let's go and find us a bear. Shaking tree, shaking tree, where are you? I, where, where are we right now? Oh, this is not where I, where I found them before. Pretty sure. Oops, this way. 